John, we've passed a lot of uh, ladies, or as you would say, girls, on the trail, right? Yeah. And uh, they all seem to be the same. Two girls and a guy that all are the same height and it's, shape. It's a little um, uh, inbred-like kind of thing. Not Inbred. Well, maybe that's the wrong word. Inbred. Uh, what's... What's 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 wrong with? It's a little homogenous. How long have you been single? That two chicks and a dude doesn't seem <laughs> awesome to you. How, how was that terrible? For you? I'm <laughs> sorry. I meant it's fantastic. <laughs> there we go. You know, at least pretend you're back in the game, Johnny. <laughs> When the hobbits are going through the Barrow Downs, they meet Tom Bombadillo. Oh, yeah. yeah That's right. right. Yes. Letting my geek flag fly. <laughs> Way to go. You're single, right, John? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today's trail is north of the 210, between Pasadena and the 605 freeway, right there near Monrovia and Sierra Madre. You're going to get off at Santa Anita Avenue and take that north. You go straight through town until it hits the bottom of the hill, and you're going to wind your way up into the forest and Angeles Crest Forest until that road dead ends into Chantry Flats where you park your car, make sure you've got a parking pass or it'll cost you. Jim, Doopy. what's going on today? Today we are at Sturdivant Falls. It's also called Chantry Flats and it's right here. Right here being like Monrovia, Arcadia, Arcadia kind of area? Well, there, Angeles Crest Forest. You gotta have the adventure pass in your windshield. Oh, adventure. That's how you know you're having a good time. Yes, exactly. $35 worth of fun right there. That's cool. So uh, where's the trailhead today? The trailhead's right that way. Bingo. And uh, there's some more trails up that way, but those are uphill. What are we, stupid? We're going downhill. So <laughs> when we're tired at the end of the day, we walk back uphill. Is that what you're saying? That's starting to sound stupid again, John. <laughs> but you put it that way. <laughs> the Sturdivant Fall Trail is a little under four miles round trip. You'll take a half mile downhill into the valley till you get to the river. Take that river upstream until you get to Sturdivant Falls. There's a bunch of side trails. You can go on a long hike or a little short detour. Either way, it's a delightful thing until you have to come back uphill to your car. For a little different thing, you can head downriver when you get to the bottom of the canyon, and that'll take you to Hermit Falls. It's a similar length hike. However, it's got more splashing around, a kid with a beer, maybe a girl in a tank top. If that's your thing, maybe that would be the way to go. Oh, it was a whole shuffleboard helicopter battle. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's, that's class warfare right there. <laughs> the shuffleboard <laughs> helicopter feud, 1938. John, it's been a long time since I wished I were a gigantic marble, but this is the time. If I were a gigantic marble, oh. I would roll right down here. Do you remember the game Mousetrap? I, yes, I could be. I, you I, could, you, yeah. If you were a giant boot, you could kick me off of, <laughs> <laughs> off of the uh, high dive, and it would be great to run. So we could say it's Sturdivant Falls Trail. It might be called the Gabrielino Trail, or it might be called Chantry Falls. Oh, now that you say it out loud, it sounds Italian. Gabrielino? <laughs> I don't know. She sounds like a, a saucy gal <laughs> who may or may not be wearing her top right now. That's what I'm saying. I think she started an eight and a half. <laughs> what do you got, Jim? John, good news. We can take any of the garbage things we want to. It says take one. I mean, I don't want to make a pig of myself and grab a bunch. I'll just grab one. And when you come here, remember, don't make a pig of yourself. Only take some of the garbage. Don't take all the garbage. How do you feel about the, the day? What do you think lies ahead for us? Well, I think if we continue to walk and I'm turning like this, you distract me and I like trip a... over somebody else, we're going to have some good footage. Twisted and... ankle. <laughs> like that. Exactly. <laughs> so it's starting to, feel, starting to feel like working on some other plan. <laughs> Johnny, may your search through nature lead you to yourself. Guess what? Mission accomplished. Here I am. And here I am. Bingo. Looks the, like we have a cabin or something First here. of many cabins down here at the bottom of the Sturdivant Falls Trail. You should be surprised how many of these people lock their doors. It's really annoying. It's really hard to get in there. <laughs> Maybe if you go on that bridge, people can see up your skirt, girly man. We're not taking a bridge. We're going this is a bridge. That's oh, a man bridge right there. We are fording the creek. Oh, we made it. Jim, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of voices in the woods. It's, well, it's, uh, it's, I think this is the time of day when the trees and rocks come alive, John. Is that not, or? That's, it, that's better than my explanation. I thought that they were the ghosts of hikers past who okay. had met who their... Recently passed, like in the last had week. Had met their fate here in the woods. It's the severed hands and heads that are hidden around all L.A. trails now. Ah, I'm talking to you, John. That's I what see. it is. Jim, it looks like you got another, uh, like a seasonal stream that comes out of this hillside here, mountainside. I'm going to use my fake expertise to disagree with you, John. This is obviously a cleared out killing field for some kind of sacrificial ritual. Okay. I made that up, so it's got to be true. It's perfect.
All right, there's Sturdivant Falls in a slow-motion Bigfoot kind of way. And we're only doing that because John Cooper's an idiot and forgot to push record. The Fiddler, I thought that Batman did away with him in one of the early movies. I was, uh, I was unaware it was that back when, when uh, Batman was in the South and he was fighting <laughs> Southern criminals like the Fiddler and the, the Hoedowner and the, the Jug Bander and all the guys. The Jug Bander. He was my favorite. <laughs> Jim, I see they have like a, uh, the Army Corps of Engineers came out here, <laughs> put this big pontoon bridge together for us. John, what they did was they, they did it, it's because of the awards, they had to send the Army Corps of Special Engineers, <laughs> which are a, a different breed, really. <laughs> They're the ones we keep home. Jim, another cabin up on the hillside here? Mountainside? I believe those are, that's called a sit-down cabin. Ah. It's got a special sitting area. And oh, that's it, nice. You could probably sit there and read. And... Yeah, it allows you to air out your junk because you got a little... You got a little sweat butter going on, you know? And, uh... John, walking downhill, my hands are swinging a lot, and they seem to be swelling. As though they're filling As up. though you've eaten too much deli meat or something? Is that what happens? Your hands Sodium, Sodium-filled cold cuts? Something's yeah. going on. Let's see, by the end of the trail, if I have my hands... If I get back to the car and, I, and my hands are too big to drive, you might <laughs> You're gonna be large hand man! <laughs> Extremely large hand man! able to open tight jars. <laughs> Jim, the uh, trail to the supposed cliffs is a little more treacherous than the rest of what we've seen today, huh? It's not treacherous, John. This is a watershed divider, the Continental Divide. The water this way goes to the Mississippi. The water on this side goes down to the Pacific Ocean. And you slide down there and you And the people break who go this way go right to the morgue. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jim, the trail has changed dramatically here. Yes. And by that I mean we just passed a guy who only had one girl with him. <laughs> I know. So the other one's obviously dead in a ditch yeah. down here. <laughs> Johnny. Yeah, man. Johnny, a real man would jump right off this cliff right into there. And uh, I think I see a couple of pairs because you're not looking at one right here. The, the chosen food of cliff divers seems to be bananas and tangerines. Johnny, those aren't the cliff divers. The carcasses of the failed cliff divers are dragged up here by coyotes and they use the tangerines and the bananas as a... Uh, like as a, a lure? A, I got a poultice to like make a <laughs> nice a deliciousness to it, yeah. Cooper, at the end of the trail, you can come up here, you can grab yourself a snack, get yourself a cold beer, the weekends you can get yourself a burger, and uh, you go over there and probably pet those animals, and most of them probably won't bite your fingers off. But if your fingers look like carrots, you might lose a couple. Oh well. Live and learn. All those burrows. They all look just like Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey. Jim. Johnny, here we are. We Pretty just finished up at uh, uh, Sturdivant Falls. Sturdivant trail. Falls, and then right. we, we took a detour that somebody suggested to us down to these diving cliffs, which yeah, was cliff. an amazing little part of the trail there. Right, exactly, and uh, the, this area is called Chantry Flats for some ridiculous reason, and uh, there's a bunch of other names for yeah. things. It's uh, but, uh, plenty of parking, right? Uh, plenty of bathrooms, plenty of cabins. You don't need to build a cabin because there are loads of them here. Right, free. If you could pick them up and take them with you, you can, but they're yeah. really heavy. They probably wouldn't even miss one or two of them. Yeah. Uh, lots of girls, too. Don't bring your own. There are plenty around. <laughs> hey, don't mess up our planet. We won't mess up yours. <laughs>